What's up everyone? So today some fittings just showed up for my vacuum lines that I'm going to be using on the supercharger setup of this 2014 Ram 1500 Hemi. So let me show you guys what I got and I'll tell you the reason why I got it. Um, you could basically just use, you know, rubber hosing, vacuum lines, or you could even use silicone. Um, I don't like using the silicone uh, hoses just because I've seen them melt before. They're not the greatest. Um, so I've basically seen the silicone houses melt immediately. Not that the stuff that I'm using can't melt, but um, I don't really like the whole barb, push a hose on it, put a zip tie around it, or a band clamp. It just looks really ugly. So this stuff I used on the last turbo build. It's really popular with a lot of the different higher end builds. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the stuff, what I've used and what to put together. And basically it's super trick stuff and it's really easy to service if you ever need to take something apart. It comes apart really easily and the look is really clean and really trick. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so here's the piece from Pro Charger. Basically they give you this vacuum block is what it's called or manifold. And you can see it has three ports on it. One, two, three. And these are all 1.8 NPT. So basically, um, this would be the traditional setup or your typical setup is you would have just a barb and you would put on a rubber piece of um, vacuum line and you would connect it to whatever you're going to. This one, basically they give you from the Pro Charger kit, they give you two plugs and one brass uh, nipple or barb to the hose. And this runs to your bypass valve and that's it. That's all you have. But they give you um, ports so that you can run something like a boost gauge. So this is where I'm going to get into what I have here. So you guys can see I have all sorts of fittings and I'll tell you the sizes if you guys have any questions about this stuff. But basically, like I said, this is all 1 8 NPT, which is the same as this and most blow off valves, uh, waste gates and uh, bypass valves, all those types of things, they usually um, use a 1 8 NPT. If they don't, it's a 10 millimeter and you can actually retap a 10 millimeter uh, thread that's, you know, maybe on a teal wastegate um, and you can utilize these fittings. So basically, let me show you how this works, but I gotta set the camera down first. Okay, so like I was saying, you would have this uh, typically in a setup and you would put your barbs and you'd put your ugly brass uh, plugs in here. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up taking out one of these. Basically, I have uh, 90 degree elbows and these are kind of, uh, they're really trick guys. Like they have a swivel to them. So this has a little seal in it and it swivels. And these are all called push, push lock fittings or push to lock or push to release. They kind of have a few different names that people call them by. But what would happen is we would put this special fitting in here Obviously we're not gonna tighten everything down for the purpose of this video, but you would put it in, then you would take your hose, and basically this is a quarter inch hose, and you just slide it in, and that's it, you're done. It's in, it's sealed, it's locked, and if you ever wanna service this, if you wanna take this off, you wanna remove something, get the line out of the way, you just push this blue clip, and you pull it back out, and that's it. So it's way nicer than you know the old school way of having to fight with these hose and barbs and try to cut the hose to get it off. Like I said, again, you just shove it in there, push it all the way in, that's it. It's locked in there. You can hang it by it. It's not going anywhere and it's sealed. Um, I've used these for methanol injection kits, I've used them for vacuum lines, all that kind of stuff. The only thing is these uh, lines is plastic. It's polyurethane. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you run it anywhere high heat, um, you basically just get the heat sleeve and you throw it over top. I've ran this right to uh, my last setup was uh, making over 700 horsepower and uh, we put, put a heat sleeve on this and we ran it right past basically the exhaust manifold and to the waste gates. Never any issues with melting or anything like that. So this is super cool stuff. Again, I've got straight fittings because um, the bypass valve on this also use the same fitting on the other end. So instead of using this cheap hose, I'm gonna use this and make it all super trick. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys is I have these unions. So the reason why I have this one is on my boost gauge, basically, you can see it has a rubber hose or had a rubber hose. And I bought this little adapter fitting, which it goes from a barb fitting to these uh, push lock fittings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and that's why I'm converting from a rubber hose to the push lock. Then we're gonna take a union, slide it on. It's gonna grab on seal. Then we're gonna take something like this, 
and continue on. Now we've got a connection um, that we can run. Basically, I'm going to run this line all the way to here, and that's where this boost gauge is going to be getting its uh, vacuum and boost, basically manifold pressure from. So it's going to be super trick, guys. Um, it's going to work really well, but again, it's a really clean and trick setup and a lot nicer than this uh, kind of old school way. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I just wanna show you guys another little thing that I'm throwing on this truck and part of the build that I'm taking the extra step to basically do it a little bit nicer and a little more thought out and professional than maybe just slapping it together with some vacuum hose. But um, if you guys have any questions on that stuff, you know, the fittings, where to buy it, so all that stuff sitting there, I have about 20 feet of line and all those fittings. I think I have about 10 of each style, the 90 degree elbow, the Union, and just the straight ones. It ran me, I wanna say about 20 or $30. So you can't beat it guys. And you know, I'm gonna have way more stuff than I need for the build, but 20 or 30 bucks, I can run the lines all over the place and um, have a very clean install. So if you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up for me. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure you're following the Instagram page as well. If you're an Instagram person, it's the same spelling as the channel, at Boosted Motorsports and make sure you're subscribed and check out the other videos on this channel because we've covered a lot and we're continuing to cover a lot. But as always guys, wherever you guys want to follow along is cool with me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.